Welcome back on Positively Tampa Bay Today. Make plans this weekend to participate in the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office's Operation Medicine Cabinet. Happens on Saturday. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this operation, Sergeant Dan Zito, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for inviting me. First of all, tell us about this Operation Medicine Cabinet. What is it exactly? Well, it's a prescription drug take back program. It's going to be this Saturday, September 29th, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m at nine locations throughout Pinellas County. So when citizens pull in, they can bring us their unwanted prescription medication, and we'll gladly accept those items, no questions and at no cost. Oh, why not throw it away? Why not dump it down the drain? Well, we want to protect the environment. There's a lot of reasons why we're doing this program. Basically, educate about substance abuse, protect children from accidentally ingesting medication, um, how to safeguard your medications, and also to protect the environment instead of putting it down the drain, bring it to us, we'll incinerate it. Yeah, these are controlled substances after all. We want to be careful with them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it can be a gateway for kids, too, to get into, uh, into drugs. It's readily available right there in the medicine it cabinet. It is. Seventy percent of children, teenagers, acquire medication through somebody's medicine cabinet, either their own medicine cabinet or somebody else's medicine Say that cabinet. Seventy percent? Seventy percent. Wow. All right, so that's why this is so important, and you've made it really easy for folks to get involved. We're, I want to show you the locations. Nine locations throughout Pinellas County are included in these drop-offs. You've got them from north all the way down to the south. So we're going to go over. Here's a few of them here, the north locations right there. A lot of these are at um, drugstores. Uh, you see the Walgreens right there, Pinellas Avenue and Tarpon Springs. You're outside the drugstore. We should mention that, Correct. right? There's not going to be any collections in, inside of any business or any pharmacy. Everything's going to be outside in the parking lot, and there will be a law enforcement presence out there to collect those items. Okay, so nine different locations from the north, mid, and south. For more information, you can check out the uh, drop-off locations on the website you guys have, uh, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office website, PCSOweb.com, and we also have it on our website, too. Uh, let's bring up those. Okay, I guess we have time to show these other locations. Uh, Mid-County locations here, the Sweet Bay, that's at the corner of East Bay Drive and Keene Road. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, uh, again, there on Almerton Road at the Walgreens right there at the uh, Pinellas Park. And here are the southern locations. Again, the Pinellas, uh, uh, St. Pete, rather, Police Department at a Walgreens there on Gulfport Boulevard and on Gulf Boulevard as well at the Dolphin Village Shopping Center. Uh, how has the response been? How many years have you been doing this now? About three years. We three started years. the program in 2009. Since then, we've taken in approximately 9,000 pounds, which is four and a half tons of unwanted prescription medication. It's a terrific program. Oh, it is. Again, it's a win, win for everyone. It is. Thank you very much again for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, and good luck with that. Again, that's this coming Saturday. More information, there it is again. Check out the website, and we'll have it as well on our Facebook page. Don't forget, you can follow uh, Positively Tampa Bay on on Lisette's Facebook page, and we will be right back. At ABC Action News, domestic violence awareness is a year-round commitment. We include the statewide domestic violence hotline in our newscasts, on our website, even in social media. Even here, behind the scenes, we share that hotline number with our employees. Why? Because we know that hotline works. If you or someone you know may be a victim of domestic violence or dating violence, call one 800 500 1119. No judgments, just help.